What's up, Facebook friends and fam? It's your buddy, Mr. Power, just checking in with you guys. I uh, know it's been a while since I checked in with you guys regarding my health, but I had opportunity to go see the radiologist today, and I got some good news and some bad news. So uh, I figured I've been sharing with you guys all this time, so I will continue sharing you with you the the news and how my health is doing and so you've been helping me over these years so i figured i would continue to uh share with you maybe i can have continued support from you guys which it really does mean a lot from me uh, like i said i had a chance to see the radiologist today and uh, had a chance to explain to me a procedure that i can have to make, possibly help me uh, remove my tumors or get rid of my tumors uh, but there are consequences to these procedures and so I just ask for your prayers and helping me with, uh, with uh, making this decision and your continued support and I just want to share with you guys a, a video that I was shown today showing you the size of my tumors where they are and you can get an inside true look on what's going on with me on the inside because you keep saying I look good on the outside so I'm going to show you the insides of me and so you can really see what's going on so here's the video you know and uh, like I say thanks for all the support over the over the years and I love you all just to measure them and that way you can see you know what's tumor all right okay. so this is oh I'm sorry that's okay Did you say what is tumor yeah, so where these lines intersect, uh -huh. to the extent of those lines, that's all tumor. And then this is all normal. So this is a tumor. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way out to here. Yeah. All of this Correct. is a big tumor. What size would you say that it would be? That is 12 and a half by almost 10 centimeters, which is about 5 by 4 inches. So it's like a, like a grapefruit or something? Orange to orange? grapefruit, yeah. So okay. a small grapefruit, big orange. Big, like a, okay, like a navel like a navel orange, orange yeah, navel orange. exactly. Um, On my right side, that's actually kind of right in the middle. Well, right here, orange tumor right here, and you say on my left side or that's the left half of your liver. Okay, but the left half of the liver kind of lives in the middle of your belly. Okay, gotcha. And then the rest of your liver is is over here, and you've got some other small spots, um, small lesions, small tumors in the liver also. I don't know if you can see that mouse moving. Uh, let's put yeah, a... Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. So this is tumor. Um, this is a small tumor here. Sorry about that. So it said, just by looking at it, would you say those are like the size of strawberries? Oh, no. These, these are going to be much smaller. Um, uh, you know, smaller than grapes even. The, okay. These are all less than an, a half an inch or so. Okay. All the dark spots. Yeah. Like, such as like well, this this whole thing is, is oh, that's the one. That's yeah. the great, not great for the navel orange. Exactly. And then over here we yeah, have that. That one, one is that one might be a strawberry size. Okay. Yeah. You know, this is this is a smaller one. You know, this is a smaller one right here. Okay. Okay. I've been waiting seven years <laughs> for that picture. Literally, like no one's ever showed me. So we're gonna in inject this stuff into the veins into the, the arteries. two arteries yeah. that feed into the tumors okay i got you and then those particles will block the blood vessels and they'll starve the tumor of its oxygen and nutrients okay and then that'll cause the tumor to die and to shrink okay um, sometimes we'll soak chemotherapy drugs into the particles mm -hmm. sometimes we'll put radiation into the particles mm -hmm. um, but Right now, what I'm thinking is the first time we, we do this, we'll do it with just the particles and nothing else. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, hopefully it will kill the entire tumor, but it won't necessarily kill the entire tumor or every tumor. Um, we're going to we're going to concentrate first on the largest tumor, but over over time we'll wind up treating essentially the entire liver. Okay. Okay. Um, 
after the treatment, the treatment itself, the procedure itself is not uncomfortable. Okay. Um, we'll give you some medicine to make you sleepy. Um, we won't necessarily make you go to sleep, but uh, we'll give you some medicine to, be, to make you comfortable during the procedure. Okay. Um, after the procedure, hour, a couple hours afterwards, you might have some pain um, because the tumors, it, the blood supply has stopped. So it's kind of like when your foot falls asleep and you mm -hmm. get pins and needles. I got Similar you. phenomenon, but, but different because you don't have nerve cells inside the liver itself. Okay. Um, How long does it, the procedure take? Normally? The procedure itself usually takes about an hour. Okay. Um, you'll be here for most of that day, though. Okay. We've got a you know a couple hours of, of pre-med, start an IV, maybe draw some labs for you um, before the procedure itself, and then we've got to watch you for a couple, three hours afterwards because we're going to put a hole in the artery. So we got to make sure that doesn't bleed. Okay. Um, for a few days after the procedure, usually about three to five days afterwards, you can have some more pain, you can get some nausea, um, you can get some crampiness, and um, you can get low-grade fevers, something that's called a post-embolization syndrome. Okay. As that tumor's dying, it starts to release all kinds of things into your, your bloodstream, your body thinks that there's an infection going on, so that's an immune response. Gotcha. That's where you get the, the fevers from. That um, is a good thing. Yes, it, it, it's a normal thing. Okay. Um, it can be, um, you can also get infections after a procedure like this, which it can mask. So, you know, if the fevers are too high, you know, we might need to bring you into the hospital and, and give you some antibiotics or things like that. But a low-grade fever up to about 101, 102 isn't, isn't really concerning. If it goes above that or if it's, you know, sustained or if you get cold shaking chills or night sweats, you know, those are things that we start getting more concerned about. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, with systemic chemotherapy, you hear about people losing their hair or getting protracted nausea. That doesn't typically happen with this type of chemo mm -hmm. because we're giving it all into the liver. And then by the time your body sees it, it's, it's all diluted. Um, so you get a much higher concentration of the drug to the tumor.